for Off the Block on Vinny Lopes, and we are now joined by the U.S. men's volleyball outside attacker Thomas Jesse, the pride of Loyola, as he is preparing for his first Olympics as the team's ready to embark on a gold medal quest in Rio. And Thomas, I gotta ask you, we're about a week away from the opening ceremonies. What is the mood and atmosphere like in your guys' practices right now? Uh, right now, it's pretty gritty. Uh, there's a lot of competition, a lot of fight going on. Uh, it's just a really good training environment at this point, you know. The team's been locked in for a little bit, and um, so we've been able to work together, but at the same time, compete really hard. So, um, yeah, right now, we're just really excited to be part of it, but, you know, working really, really hard to represent our country well. Yeah. And, you know, you look at this summer in World League, obviously, I know in the World League Finals, you guys would have liked to have gone a little far, further, but what overall do you think were the big things that you were able to take away about the team in World League play this summer? Um, you know, obviously when you lose, all of your weaknesses get highlighted, but um, I think I think it also showed us that we can play with anyone in the world. Um, you know, we played pretty poorly, and we, we were pretty close to making it to the Final Four of World League Finals, and, um, so, yeah, it just showed us we can definitely hang and not beat any team in the world. Hang with and not beat any team in the world. But, I mean, it also obviously showed us that we have a lot to work on. I mean, we've been doing a lot over the last however many days since we've been back from Poland in preparation for Rio. Uh, we've been getting after it pretty hard. So, yeah, I mean, the, the only thing you can really do after a loss, um, after you kind of take it in and, just, you know, you can think about it, but you got to move on and you got to learn from it. Yeah, and I know that you're not going to divulge too much, but I am intrigued, you know, when you're so close to the Olympics practices, you know, what is it like? Is it working a lot of system stuff? Is it a lot of, you know, past serve? You know, what, what's kind of been some of the areas of focus and practice for you guys? Um, I don't think we're treating this training, this little training block we have any different than any other. We're not saying, like, oh, we can't tire ourselves out. Um, we've been working really hard in the weight room, and, I mean, every practice is different. We have things we need to work on, you know, so, um, yeah, it just kind of just depends on where the team is at on any given day, but, you know, I mean, yeah, we do serve receive every day, but we do different drills scrimmage-wise, and um, a lot of high-ball attacking on the system stuff, so it just depends on the day, there's not really like a, every day is like a server pass, you know, it's not like we're not really jumping every day, we're, we're going full every day, we went for like two and a half hours today. And, you know, looking ahead at the Olympics, obviously going to be your first Olympics, what are you most excited about being able to get down there in Rio? What are you most looking forward to? Um, you know, I'm not really sure. Obviously, I haven't been a part of it, so I couldn't tell you what what is the best part or anything. I've been talking to a lot of guys that have been to the Olympics before with what to expect and stuff, but um, I think right now I'm most excited for opening ceremonies. It's just something that I mean. I think at that moment it might hit me that I'm, I'm an Olympian, but uh, until then, I'm not really calling myself an Olympian. You know, you got to get there, you got to um, start the games. So I'm just kind of waiting for it all to, to happen. Yeah, and I do want to ask about that because, you know, you have a young team, but you got some veterans on there. How valuable is it to have a player like Reed Pretty who's been through the Olympic grind before for you guys potentially just ask questions about, you know, what to expect when you get down there? Uh, yeah, I mean, having a guy like him on the team he does a lot of good things, especially, I mean, I think, especially for me personally, because he's an outside hitter um, who's seen it all, he's played everywhere in the world, he's played against the top players, he's beat the top players, so um, he's a guy like, I, I look to for advice and when he talks, I definitely listen. Um, yeah, between him and Dave Lee, there's a lot of wisdom that they pass around and And, you know, Thomas, last time, you know, the college men's volleyball fans saw you, you know, you were lifting the NCAA tournament trophy. It was 14 months ago. I'm sure for you, in some ways, it may feel like a lifetime. But, you know, what has been the biggest difference in your game from, you know, when you're playing college to right now? more creative and just 
ton of fun with. So that's something that I really work on almost every day at practice is my ball attacking. And, um, yeah, and that's, that's a huge change from college to international volleyball. Yeah. Well, and I, I want to go back a year and just to, to ask you, you know, because I, I'm sure it was a difficult decision for you, you know, that debate, you know, do you forego your senior year, do you go pro, you know, kind of looking back on it, you know, what for you was really the biggest driving force to say, you know, I want to go pro? It was uh, making the Olympic roster this summer, because I knew if I went pro and didn't make it, at least I would have done everything I could to try and make the team, because playing professionally will better prepare me to try and make the the real squad. Um, and so it was kind of like, if I stay in college, I thought, I think Loyola, um, you know, I had a good year, and I think I could have helped them be a little bit more successful in the past season, had I stayed. Um, but if I stayed, and then I didn't make the Olympic roster, I would have always wondered, you know, what if I had gone through, what, what kind of player would I be? So this way I knew I was doing everything I can, and obviously I'm, I'm fortunate enough to have made that roster. So it all worked out, but um, yeah. No, definitely. Well, and looking forward a little bit. I know that you got Canada coming up first, and I'm intrigued. You know, with the way the Olympic tournament is structured, you know, obviously you know who you're playing the prelims, but you know there's really a short amount of time in between matches. You know, in preparation for this, you know, are you guys trying to spend a little bit of time focusing on each of your upcoming opponents, or are you just solely focused on Canada, or are you just mostly concerned at what's going on, on your side of the net? Before I let you go, I do want to ask you one or two more lighthearted questions. You know, you're the youngest player on the U.S. Olympic roster. I want to ask, as the youngest player, you know, is there any um, hazing going on? Uh, hazing going on for you in terms of having to carry the players' bags or anything along those lines, or is there none of that? Uh, no, I mean we have so much stuff between our uh, athletic trainer and our video guys. And actually, I think every player ends up having to take an extra bag, so. Um, I mean, it's kind of like whatever bag I get stuck with, I get stuck with. And to be honest, I I could care less what bag I get stuck with after all the Olympics. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And going off that, I do have to ask, um, you know, one of the most interesting um, things that came out, you know, Shane Davis went to um, Northwestern, as I'm sure you know, the coach of the women's volleyball team. And he was said, you know, one of the biggest differences or one of the differences between the coach of men's and coaches of women is on his birthday – the, the players of Northwestern Brahm a cake that they made and everything. I'm just wondering, what would have been Shane's reaction had you guys have brought him a cake on his birthday when he was coaching at Loyola? And who would have baked that on your team? Uh, <laughs> I don't think anyone would have baked that cake. And I, I'm pretty sure we 